Speaking of white men, House conservative leaders withdrew their replacement plan for the Affordable Care Act just moments before the scheduled vote. According to sources on the scene, if you listen closely, you just might have heard Obama's faint chuckle drift through the air. <laughs> a new study from Cambridge University has come forth with a theory that dinosaurs may have had a different point of origin than always thought. According to the results, the first dinosaur may have emerged 15 million years earlier than originally believed, and farther north in what may be present-day United Kingdom. When presented with this finding, kids in sandboxes everywhere were extremely disappointed that their dinosaur toys are lame now. But the Tea Party crowd seems excited that they'd have way more guests show up for a spot of tea and a cracker. <laughs> Last episode, we predicted that Kanye West would open up a Hall of Fame featuring only himself. But as of last week, he may have to put those plans on hold after a 17-year-old named Robbie Barrett from West Virginia created a rap songwriting AI by feeding it approximately 6,000 lines of Kanye West songs. This impressive feat of programming is the result of a dare from some of Barrett's classmates, which we can only hope culminates in a John Henry-style battle between man and machine <laughs> to prove which one will develop the most powerful god complex. <laughs> this story really has nothing to do with our original prediction, but hey, What's 500 points among friends? <laughs> a man in Puerto Rico by the name of Luis Arroyo was sentenced to seven years in prison for biting off the head of his girlfriend's dog. In other news, the human personification of evil has been found in Puerto Rico. <laughs> a scuba diver in Florida made headlines this week as he pulled a rusty metal hook out of a lemon shark's belly. The diver was heralded as a fearless hero for, rem for removing the foreign object from the shark's skin. But when questioned about the act, the shark was upset claiming that the hook was not just a phase and that it was a way of standing out from the other sharks and expressing their anti-establishment beliefs. <laughs> the shark's parents, however, were very grateful to the diver. Police in Northern Ireland have begun investigating reports of human waste being found in cans of Coca-Cola that were delivered to the Knockmore Hill facility from a supplier in Germany. When questioned about this incident, the Coca-Cola company replied with, yeah, we thought everybody knew. That's what makes it a good fertilizer. Wait, people haven't actually been drinking this stuff, have they? <laughs> a 75-year-old by the name of Lindley Benson Lindbergh was arrested in a Florida retirement community this week after being accused as a Vietnam War deserter. Lindbergh reportedly went without a struggle, which is a little disappointing considering how cool Rambo would be if it took place in a Florida retirement home. <laughs> Last Monday night, a giant solid gold coin worth approximately $4 million was stolen from a museum in Berlin, Germany. While the police have no hard evidence just yet, the prime suspects are two Italian brothers who appear to have posed as plumbers to gain access to the museum, making their way in through a warp pipe in the bathroom. <laughs> Scientists at the University of Cambridge say that they have gotten one step closer to being able to mass produce blood for transplants by triggering stem cells to become red blood cells. However, the team of scientists on the project report that the artificial blood is very expensive and requires a lot of money to mass produce. Guys, why didn't you say something? You need blood, I'll get you blood. I'll get you more blood than you need. You just keep your questions to yourself and we're going to do just fine. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for me. We are ending tonight's segment with a juicy 1,500 points. I'll see you again next week, but until then, you've been filled in on what we missed. <laughs>